Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome back to another lesson in our free mini course on making Divi responsive. So in this particular video, we're gonna be looking at spacing, so margin and padding. We're gonna look at a couple scenarios where you can really, you know, use, this is like a good use case of how to use margin and padding. Um, we're gonna look at that and hopefully you can learn something here. Um, I know that margin and spacing can come back to bite you if you do not adjust it properly for phone and tablet. So let's take a look, see what we can learn. Another important set of options to adjust on different devices is the margin and padding. I often use different padding values for desktop, tablet, and phone, especially to reduce spacing on smaller screens so you have more room for the content. So in any of the sections, rows, modules, columns, we have margin and padding. So you can see that here in the design tab under the spacing. Okay, so this is pretty standard stuff. So you can see that here under the spacing, you get these set of options on almost anything in Divi. So I'm gonna go through a couple of ways that I would use this. So here in my little example I have from the sizing lesson, if I was to go in here, so let's go in here to the blurb and I'm going to add a white background. And then let's say, you know, I'm just gonna go through this example. Let's say I wanna make it a nice rounded border and you know it just looks terrible doesn't it because i need spacing in here because of the contrast in the collar so let's go back to spacing and what i would do a lot of times is i'd find a number you know 24 pixels whatever you know set it for both left and right and then usually you can set that for top and bottom as well and then you have a nice amount of spacing around there um, sometimes you know i'll go you know, depending on what I'm doing, you know, I want, I want it to be a lot more. I want to really emphasize, you know, the white space there. So I'll do something like that. For our example, let's get rid of one of these columns. So that might look pretty good, right? And I've adjusted that, but now when I go to mobile, it, it might not look too bad, but again, this preview size is really wide. So I'm going to go enable my plugin again. So our plugin, the Divi Responsive Helper, has a setting for the preview size. Let's just go ahead and enable these, and that'll give us a little more control of what I'm trying to show you. Okay, so now we have um, we have the ability to set some different presets here, and so there we go. We can change this. We can, with our plugin, see that we can actually change the, the preview size. We have a couple presets set here. So if this was your phone size, or this one, or you know, whatever your phone size is, you know, we're losing a lot of space here on mobile. So what I would want to do is enable the three tabs, which in our plugin, they already are enabled by default. So this padding here, remember I put 36 pixels. We might want that to be, you know, more like 24 for mobile. Okay, so this is just an example of how to adjust padding and spacing on a lot of websites. So then when we go back to desktop and take a look at that here, it's back to the larger space, okay? Another setting that has to do with spacing is in the image. So if we go to the an image module, you'll see a new tab here, and it says show space below the image. Um, and I'm not, I've never really quite understood this and why this is here, but there it is, you can change that for different devices. Another one that I want to point out that applies to a lot of different modules, any module or anything that has a button. For example, this full width header has buttons or this call to action has buttons. So if we go in there and again, anything like that that has a button where you can go in here and say, use custom button styles, okay? So let's go down and here it has its own margin and padding, okay? Because it's kind of like a button inside another module, so it allows you to have its own set of padding, which I think is really nice. And then again, if you're changing your button padding for different devices to make it responsive, which again, I do a lot, then there you go. That's where you can find that for buttons inside other modules. Okay, so that's a look at some of the responsive spacing settings in Divi. I hope this was helpful. 
Hope that as you're building sites or managing sites that you can be putting some of this into practice and that you're learning. Um, and let's just keep going. Uh, there's a lot more to do in the design tab, but then we're going to be jumping into the advanced tab coming up. So let's keep going. All right, we'll see you in the next lesson.